Insomniac Games decided to make a new IP after they were done making Spiral games. Their new IP turned out to be an astounding 3D platformer known as Ratchet & Clank. The Ratchet & Clank series holds a very special place in my heart and has continued to impress me over the years. But like any video game series, there had to be a beginning. There had to be a game to introduce such a wonderful franchise. And that is why I am here today to review the first Ratchet & Clank game. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- No, it's okay, Drek. I can respect opinions. A mysterious alien creature known as Ratchet was fixing his ship on his home planet, Velden. Meanwhile, in a nearby factory, a robot later named as Clank was born and chased by sentry bots. Only for him to crash on Velden so Ratchet could meet him. Yay! They become well acquainted with each other and journey through many planets across the galaxy together. However, an evil mastermind known as Chairman Drek had a plan to make a new planet for his race, due to overpopulation and pollution on his own planet. He wanted to accomplish this by extracting resources from other planets, which would cause other planets to be destroyed. Drek knew about this, and he just didn't give a fuck. There are notable characters like Skid McMarks, who gives Ratchet a hoverboard for hoverboard races. You also meet Big Al. A nerdy robot mechanic who gives Clank a helipack. You're welcome. Clank initially was interested in finding the so-called hero known as Captain Quark for assistance. Ratchet was completely unconcerned and oblivious to Drek's evil plans, and has been more of a selfish asshole than a hero throughout the game. Get off of me, you idiot! Which is why Ratchet's voice actor had to be changed in future titles. Clank, being a more serious and stern character, has struggled to get along with Ratchet throughout the game, which led to occasional fights which I found pretty funny. I wonder what that infobot is for. Maybe it can replace you. <laughs> Look, we'll go just long enough to pick up the O2 mask. Perhaps the extra oxygen will help your brain to function properly. Yeah, and maybe the salt water will rust your mouth shut. Ratchet & Clank at its core is more than just a typical 3D platformer. It's a third-person action-adventure game with third-person shooter elements. The whole premise of the game is to collect lots of weapons and blow shit up. It's cool going to a Gadgetron vendor to purchase weapons from this faggot over here. You explore many different planets with a disguised loading screen and get to linear 3D levels, performing many different sets of tasks. You smash crates and defeat enemies to collect the game's currency, which is known as bolts. Bolts can be used to purchase weapons and infobots. Infobots give you a preview of a planet you're about to visit. You run into all kinds of weird robotic and space alien type enemies, and it's a lot of fun kicking their asses. Ratchet's wrench is your primary melee weapon and it can be used to turn bolt cranks and it can be thrown, which is pretty badass. You have your standard double jump combined with gliding through either a helipack or a thruster pack. I always found that pretty cool. Like in Spyro 2 and 3, you can also swim underwater. But be careful, before you collect the O2 mask, you'll drown like a motherfucker. There are some sections in the game where you play as Clank too. Though Clank's gameplay is kind of boring, it's cool using gadget bots to open doors and defeat enemies. I realize Clank's gameplay is only there for variety. I mean, come on, he's, he's Ratchet's sidekick for fuck's sake. Giant Clank is much more fun to play as though. You get to fly in the air sometimes and compete in hoverboard races, but you'll spend most of your time on the ground with Ratchet, which is good. It's really good because it's a platformer, you know what I'm saying? Later in the game, you collect anti-gravity boots, which limit your mobility, but allow you to walk on walls and shit. You get to swing like Spider-Man with the swing shot, ride down zip lines, get on grind rails. The game is very futuristic, and for its time, and even now, it's a pretty fucking cool game. The weapons in this game are pretty weak compared to future titles, but they're still pretty awesome. You get the basic flamethrower, a bomb glove, a blaster, a boxing glove, the suck cannon, which I like to call the blowjob cannon, and much, much more. The best weapon in this game is the expensive rhino that you can purchase from your local crackhead. Guaranteed to rip ya a new one. It's not just weapons you can collect. You can also collect awesome gadgets that can be used on new levels and hidden pathways on old levels too. 
You can even raise and lower water levels. It's a lot of fun. Though the door unlocking mechanism is pretty overwhelming. Yeah. While the game is mostly combat, the platforming is still there. The game has wall jumping and a lot of climbing. The game lasts roughly around 7 or 8 hours. But fortunately the game gives you many reasons to keep playing. You get skill points from performing certain tasks and skill points also help you unlock neat extras. Though they're pretty gimmicky to me in this game especially. Gold bolts are the game's signature hidden collectible, quite similar to the power cells in Jack and Daxter. Hell, when you beat the game you get an option to replay the game again with all of the progress you gained in your previous playthrough, which has always been one of the greatest features in Ratchet and Clank games. When you go into challenge mode the game is a lot more fun and a lot more satisfying. You can also upgrade your weapons by purchasing gold weapons, which is why you collect gold bolts in the first place. Upgrading your health or nanotech is also possible. So as you can see, the game is pretty time consuming. So much to do, so much to explore, there's a lot that you can do in a Ratchet and Clank game. Insomniac knew what they were doing and they created one of the best platformers that can be found on PlayStation. The characters you find throughout the game are pretty damn hilarious too. Especially this thought over here. This plumber that stalks Ratchet and Clank in almost every game. And of course Al's crazy ass. Ha! Real men can spin without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Bitch you thick as fuck. You always on Quark's dick all day and night. Fuck out of here. You fucking thought. I bet Quark's pullout game was... Veek, veek, veek. Ah oh, man, the graphics are pretty impressive for an early PS2 title. Some of the character designs were improved later on, but the visuals are pretty decent overall. A lot of games released in 2002 didn't do so well graphically, but Ratchet and Clank did a pretty good job. At the time, Ratchet and Clank was an awesome next-gen title and it definitely deserves praise. Clank? Clank? Come on, wake up! Captain Quark? <laughs> no goofball, it's me, Ratchet. I'm not going to give this game a lot of shit for having flaws, because a lot of these flaws were fixed in sequels. It's not a bad game at all. Not to mention it's the debut of the series, the first Ratchet game ever made. So of course there's room for improvement. I think my biggest issue with this game is that you can't strafe. Well you can but only with the use of the thruster pack and that's pretty annoying. I think a game with a lot of shooting should have convenient strafing. I don't know about you guys but when I first played this game I fucking hated the trespasser. Yo, this shit isn't as hard as it was when I was a kid, but goddamn, it's fucking annoying. When you throw your wrench, you can't move until it comes back to you. That's pretty bad because you could get hit by accident while doing this. If you played the sequels, you'll understand that the fact that there's no nanotech leveling system interferes with how much fun you'll have in this game. Upgrading your weapons and health could have been a lot more fun. Considering that the weapons in this game are pretty underwhelming and not as creative as the sequels, Playing the other games can sometimes ruin the experience you can get out of this game and make you not initially want to go back to this game sometimes. Most of the time when you want to go play a Ratchet game, the first game isn't the first option that comes to mind. But I don't blame Insomniac for this because this happens to a lot of games and movies with their first title. Any other flaws you see are only present in a Ratchet and Clank collection, which is where I've recorded all of this footage from. Keep in mind that Ratchet and Clank 1 is still well done. Hey, hey, welcome to my shop! What can I get you? I'm looking for Drek. Sure, yeah, I got lots of stuff on sale. After the bombing, no one is around to buy anything. Are you okay? Low prices? Oh, you bet. Is Ratchet and Clank worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Any 3D platformer fanatic can appreciate the masterpiece known as Ratchet and Clank. I excuse this game for having flaws that were fixed in future titles, and I acknowledge that the game isn't perfect. I give this game a fair 9 out of 10 with a free Gadgetron Hygienator so you all can wipe your ass. Oh and by the way, if you're a fan of Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper and haven't picked up this game yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Get off your lazy ass and pick up this game. I recommend this series to any Jack or Sly fan. And hell, since there are a lot of Spongebob fans on this channel, I recommend this game to you guys too. I know you all like platformers so this series is right up your alley. It's possible to play this game not only on PS2, but also on PS3 and Vita. So yeah, you're able to play this game in HD with trophy support now. This game is definitely a must play with its excellent gameplay, funny dialogue, and such a unique approach to a great series. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like below. And if you want me to review more Ratchet and Clank games, just let me know. Peace out. Wait, you're complaining. I gave you a great deal. Sheesh!
It's Quarktastic! Ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, mummy! Turn it off! Turn it off!